What is happening guys? Jonathan here aka Crazy Shadow 303 here with a very very special video on Crazy Shadow Talks Football. Now today we have had it confirmed by West Brom Albion Football Club that Shillian Patel is now the owner of West Brom Albion Football Club. He's now the chairman of West Brom Albion Football Club. Gauchen Lai is no longer associated with West Bromwich Albion Football Club. And that means so much to us. You know, Alistair Jones, Action for Albion, you've done it, guys. You've absolutely done it. And, you know, it is all the more sweeter for this particular um, West Bromwich Albion fan, this particular match vlogger, because it was announced today, Wednesday, February the 28th, which just so happens to be my birthday. So West Bromwich Albion have given me the best possible birthday present today. And Shillian Patel as well. Um, thank you for, you know, getting rid of the, of the demon that is Gauchin Lai. You know, still not happy that he hasn't paid all of the debts that he owed to West Bromwich Albion Football Club. But he's now out of our beloved West Bromwich Albion. And yeah... Start of a new era, guys. Start of a new era. Um, I am so, so happy to have it confirmed now. Like with you guys, it must be a big weight off the shoulders of every West Bromwich Albion fan. Um, and yeah, it's um, it's really surreal. Um, especially from my perspective, it's surreal that it's actually been announced on my actual birthday. You know, uh, so I am I am really thrilled. I am definitely going to have a drink tonight. I've got the entire week off work, so I don't have to worry about that. But I'm definitely having a drink tonight in celebration, not only of my birthday, but of uh, Shilly and Patel's takeover. So for that, you know, that's where this comes in. Uh, <laughs> so I am I am really pumped tonight, you know, looking forward to uh, to seeing what Shilly and Patel and his, uh, his board um, can do with West Bromwich Albion. Now, obviously, you know, apart from the free agent market, we can't do anything about this season. Uh, so, you know, our main objective now, we know, because we're out of the cups, um, is to, um, to actually uh, get to that playoff final in May. I mean, Leicester, Leeds, Southampton, Ipswich... You know, two of those are definitely going to get promoted at the end of the season. Uh, the other two will be in the playoffs. And hopefully, you know, we will occupy either fifth or sixth come the end of the season and be in the uh, the playoff competition in May. Um, like I said, our main objective is to get to that Wembley final in May, the playoff final, um, and hopefully get promoted. But regardless of whether we're in the Championship next season or the Premier League next season. You know, this next transfer window, the summer transfer window, is going to be absolutely crucial. Absolutely crucial, guys. Um, you know, because this will be the first time in ages where we'll actually have some investment into the club. Uh, you know, because Gauchin Lai, you know, I said it, the one season in the last six where we were in the Premier League, we were a championship club competing in the top tier of football and it obviously didn't work. We finished 19th out of 20 and, um, you know, promptly got relegated back down to the championship. We haven't got any more parachute payments, um, which has been basically mentioned to death all season that we've no longer got any parachute payments from the Premier League. Uh, so... This next transfer window in the summer, regardless of what happens for the rest of the season, hope we do get promoted. Hope we're at least in the playoff final, you know. Um, but yeah, we uh, the, this uh, this next transfer window absolutely crucial for obvious reasons. Uh, we do have a game on Friday, the first of March, which you know I'm used to having my birthday being the last day of February. But of course, as it's 2024 and it's a leap year, we've got to get through Thursday, February the 29th. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, so our next game is in two days time 
beginning of March, uh, Friday the 1st of March, 8 o'clock kickoff at the Hawthorns. Of course, I'm going to be there. Uh, you know, it's against local promotion rivals, Coventry City. Uh, we did beat them 2-0 at the uh, CBS Arena earlier this season. Um, so I am hoping for more of the same in regard to Coventry City. They did beat Maidstone um, in the FA Cup 5-0, which, to be honest, is expected of them. Uh, you know, they were the championship team. They did what Ipswich couldn't in the previous round. So they're still in the FA Cup and they're in the quarterfinals. Um, not sure who they've got yet. The draw is today. But yeah, you know, we've we've got to um we've got to watch out for players like Hadji Wright, you know, because he's um he's their top scorer at the moment. Uh so yeah, we gotta we gotta try and keep him quiet. Meanwhile, you know, we beat Plymouth uh at their ground last week and also over the weekend we drew uh, at the MKM with Hull City, you know, that could have gone either way at the end of that game, you know, Hull had chances to win, so did we, uh, I think Andy, Andy Vyerman, um should have done more than just try to chip the keeper, you know, he should have just uh, either rounded the keeper or drilled it beyond his reach um, to make it 2-1 to the Albion, but he didn't and we get a point out of the MKM, which don't get me wrong, I'm happy about, I'm happy we got something out of Hull, uh, we stay fifth, they stay six, you know, because other results went both clubs uh, way, to be honest. We like Norwich losing and, you know, Sunderland and Coventry themselves dropping points. But we need to pull a win out of um, out of Friday, you know, because if we don't, I mean, I would take a draw, but that's running the risk of Hull leapfrogging us over the weekend. And if we lose doesn't bear thinking about it does it we'll um we'll have a very uh very um nervous weekend um especially the three o'clock kickoffs when our promotion rivals are playing and Coventry themselves you know if they get the three points out the Hawthorns they'll be right up there with us so we've got to um we've got to do something you know we've got to get maximum points on Friday you know we have a decent home record we've only lost twice um, at home all season, I think, you know, against Leicester and Southampton. So, yeah, we have a really good home record. Hopefully that continues. And, yeah, I mean, this this game is the closest, you know, game I've got to a birthday match, uh, to be honest. So I'm hoping for a good game, all three points. West Bromwich Albion versus Coventry City at the Hawthorns on Friday. You know, I'm, I'm you know what, I'm going to class it as my birthday match. It's... Two days away, and it's the closest, you know, to today that a match is going to be all season. Um, so, yeah, I am now off to celebrate the rest of my birthday, and I hope to see you at the Hawthorns, guys. If you like this video, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe to Crazy Shadow Talks Football if you haven't already done so, and don't forget to hit that bell icon and join the Shadow Squad and get notified on all new content on the on the channel. But for now, guys, as I said, I'm off to celebrate the rest of my birthday. And, yeah, come on the Albion. See you Friday against Coventry. Boing, boing. Bye for now, guys.